America, Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we are discussing the Newburgh Conspiracy. In December 1782, the Continental Army had been fighting for over seven years. With peace negotiations underway, the soldiers were garrisoned near Newburgh, where they could observe British forces occupying New York City. Congress had passed a resolution in 1780 when the outcome of the war was in doubt that promised army officers a lifetime pension of half pay upon discharge from the service. However, as peace talks progressed and the need for the army decreased, Congress and the states began to waffle on their promise. The nation's treasury was empty and the Confederation Congress was helpless to do anything about it. In November 1782, Congress had tried to enact an import tariff to raise money to fund the pensions, but the states refused to ratify this measure, angering the soldiers. Consequently, a group including James Madison and Alexander Hamilton, who wanted taxation authority granted to Congress, began to manipulate the Army's growing unhappiness. They hoped to use this discontent to pressure the states into granting Congress the authority to raise their own revenue. They needed an influential commander to lead their efforts, but knew George Washington was too conscientious to support their scheme. They tried General Henry Knox, but he turned them down, saying he considered the reputation of the American army one of the most immaculate things on earth and he would suffer wrongs and injuries rather than sully it in the least degree. The conspirators would have to look elsewhere for their man. Next week, we'll discuss how General George Washington ended the Newburgh Conspiracy. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.